गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट वट एवर द चैप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस टिल नाउ दैट देर इज़ नो प्रॉब्लम इन दैट बिकॉज टिल नाउ आई हैवन गॉट एनी कॉल फ्रॉम योर साइड लेट स्टार्ट इट फर्दर इट्स पेज नंबर फाइव पैराग्राफ सेकेंड वेन आई वेंट अप टू यूनिवर्सिटी आई वॉज गिवन अ रूम ऑफ माई ओन The common link of friendship was snapped. The common link of friendship was snapped. Snapped here means broken. Okay, so when he was given a separate room, when he went to university and he was given a separate room, then both of them they were not together. So that was the only common link which was also snapped. my grandmother accepted her seclusion with resignation and grandmother she accepted this privacy she rarely left her spinning wheel to talk to anyone and what she did she made herself busy by doing what from morning till evening she used to spin the will from sunrise to sunset she sat by her wheel spinning and reciting prayers so that was the way she made herself busy you can underline it from sunrise to sunset she bet uh, she sat uh, by her wheel spinning and reciting prayers only in the afternoon she relaxed for a while to feed the sparrows add this one also suppose if the question comes means how did she spend her day from morning till evening that that can be the answer that she used to spin the wheel she used to recite the prayers and in the noon she used to feed the sparrows while she sat in the veranda breaking the bread into little bits hundreds of little birds collected round her creating a veritable bedlam of chirpings hundred of the birds they used to come there sit in her surrounding and started making little bit noise by chirping some came and perched on her legs perched here means to sit some came and perched on her legs others on her shoulders some even sat on her head she smiled but never shoot them away means when the bird came and the bird used to sit on her legs on her shoulder on her head she never shoot them away even she enjoyed that particular moment she liked that particular moment it used to be the happiest half hour of the day for her it is described here you can underline it it used to be the happiest half hour of the day for her how because during this time she used to feed the sparrows even the sparrows used to sit on her legs shoulder even on her head she never shoot them away because she like that when i decided to go abroad for further studies i was sure my grandmother would be upset now the author he decided that he will go to abroad for higher studies and he was thinking that when i will tell this thing to my grandmother definitely she would be upset i would be away for 5 years why the reason was he was going away for 5 years at and at her age one could never tell and being grandmother she could never allow him to go to abroad for 5 years moreover she was too old but my grandmother could she was not even sentimental now here another characteristic that she was not so sentimental she understood the situations 
and she had taken the decision that whatever is beneficial for the career of her grandson she will move according to that particular decision or with that particular decision so the grandmother allowed him to go she came to leave me at the railway station but did not talk or show any emotion it means she knew very well how to control over emotions see she was not so sentimental she went to the railway station but at that moment she did not talk to anyone her lips moved in prayer her mind was lost in prayer and see when she went there at the railway station to leave the author she did not talk to anyone but continuously she was reciting prayers her fingers were busy telling the beads of her rosary see every time she was telling the beads of her rosary she was reciting prayers and telling the beads of her rosary silently she kissed my forehead and when i left i cherished the moist imprint as perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us silently she kissed my forehead and when i left i cherished cherished means which you like the most and the moist moist means slightly wet imprint a mark as perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us why did the poet oh sorry why did the author say like that because he thought that my grandmother is very old now and he is going for 5 years okay so when he will come back might be the grandmother would be no more grandmother might be no more that's why that's why he was saying that it might be the last sign of physical contact between us as he used for whom grandmother and the author but that was not so after 5 years i came back home and was met by her at the station see when he came back after 5 years grandmother went to the railway station to receive him she did not look a day older and at that time also she did not look a day older she still had no time for words you remember when she went to drop the uh, author at the railway station at that moment she did not say anything and when she went to the railway station to receive him at that moment also she did not have any time for words and while she clasped me in her arms i could hear her reciting her prayers even on the first day of my arrival her happiest moment were with her sparrows whom she fed longer and with frivolous rebukes frivolous lack of seriousness rebukes when you scold someone it means when she was scolding the sparrows on that particular day she was scolding them in an amusing way i would say okay because she was happy on that particular day in the evening a change came over her she did not pray she collected the women of the neighborhood got an old drum and started to sing see that was the difference she was excited on that particular day and that was the only day when she did not pray in the evening right instead what she did she collected the women of her neighborhood got an old drum and started to sing because she was happy okay and moreover she was excited and she was celebrating the homecoming of her grandson <clears throat> for several hours 
sitham the sagin skins of the dilapidated drum and sing of the home coming of warriors so she started singing as she took an old drum and she started beating the drum and she started singing the songs like as we used to sing at that time when our warriors they won the battle and they come back we had to persuade her to stop to avoid overstraining right everybody convinced her that you should not be that much excited okay means everybody tried to stop her that was the first time since i had known her that she did not pray that i told you earlier also the next morning she was taken ill it can be because of the exertion because on that particular day she was excited and she was beating the drum but the next day she was taken ill it was a mild fever and the doctor told us that it would go when they called the doctor the doctor checked her and he told that uh, it is a mild fever and it will go no need to worry but my grandmother thought differently the thinking of grandmother was totally different she told us that her end was near she told that her end was near she said that since only a few hours before the close of the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray she was not going to waste any more time talking to us so she urged everyone leave me alone because she wanted to pray in the last moment of her life we protested protested when you say something when you ask something okay no need to worry everything will be all right this and that but she ignored our protest she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads even before we could suspect her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers it means she was no more before that they could say something they means author and his parents her lips stopped moving the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers a peaceful pallor spread on her face and we knew that she was dead we lifted her off the bed and as is customary laid her on the ground and covered her with a red shroud you know it's a custom when a person is dead we uh, just keep the dead body on the ground and we cover it with the cloth after a few hours <coughs> of mourning we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral in the evening we went to the room we went to her room with a crude stretcher to take her to the cremated the sun was setting and had lit her room and veranda with a blaze of golden light the sun was almost about to set and there was the golden light or you can say in the evening time you know very well the light of the sun it was coming in the veranda as well as in her room we stopped halfway in the courtyard now the people they started carrying her dead body but they stopped in between all over the veranda and in her room right up to where she lay dead and stiff wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrows set scattered on the floor and when they were in the veranda thousand of the sparrows they were there there was no chirping see the nature also understand the things the birds they did not chirp on that particular day we felt sorry for the birds and my mother fetched some bread for them mm-hmm. she broke it into little crumbs the way my grandmother used to and threw it to them when the author mother found that thousand of the sparrows were there 
as she used to see the grandmother used to give them bread crumbs she also did the same thing on that particular day but none of the sparrow took no notice of bread crumbs the sparrows took no notice of the bread when we carried my grandmother's corpse off they flew away quietly next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin see the sparrows came there to pay their tribute to grandmother okay and when the dead body of the grandmother was taken away they flew away silently without making any noise it means there was a great bonding between grandmother and the sparrows as well so dear students our chapter is over if you have any query regarding the chapter you can contact me okay tomorrow we shall discuss the question answer of this chapter as well as we shall start next chapter 2 thank you